Town 2 Action News investigates a DeKalb County woman says she paid thousands with hopes of getting her hacked Facebook page back. She reached out to Channel 2 Action News after we reported about a Clayton County woman who is now receiving threats after her account was hacked and is being used to defraud others. Investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln joins us now live from DeKalb County with how this is happening over and over again, Ashley. Karen, consumer advisors tell us this is simply like a scam within a scam against people who've had their Facebook accounts hacked. What we found is that these individuals behind these pages only have one motivation, and that's to get your money. Well over a thousand? Yeah. Closer to two thousand? Maybe. <laughs> I haven't kept track. <laughs> their transactions, Barbara Reynolds says she desperately paid with hopes of getting her Facebook account back. And could they help me? Consumer advisors called them Facebook recovery scams, a ploy to trick people into paying to get their social media account back after getting locked out. And you don't know at the time that they're scammers. She reached out to Channel 2 after we reported on this Facebook user whose account was hacked. Anything Pam Copeland on Facebook, that is not me. Reynolds says she paid thousands to at least five different recovery accounts. One user goes by Greg Fix underscore on X. He told Reynolds her account was recoverable if she paid $88. She paid, but then the user told her there was an issue and she would have to pay another $150. And after each payment Reynolds made, additional charges were requested, including one for $477 and another $300. They're out there scamming people. The BBB says red flags include vague claims of suspicious account activity, requests for personal information, multiple requests for payment, and threatening language. It's happening so much, I think they're overwhelmed. And we also reached out to Facebook again regarding Reynolds and Copeland's account. They have yet to respond to our emails. In the meantime, we did find social website X. They have suspended that account that Reynolds was communicating with after multiple complaints that they were frauding individuals. Reporting live tonight in DeKalb County, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action News.